Hello, how's it going guys? Thank you for watching. For this video, I'm gonna do a taste test on the Buff Foods Salted Caramel and Pecan Bar. I got this one on my last keto crate and I've been anxiously waiting to make this video because I wanna eat it, I wanna taste it. I normally don't get as excited about sweet foods, but I love pecans and this one has sea salt and I love salty food. So sweet and salty, it's definitely for me. But I don't know how they taste, so we're gonna find that out right now. Before I open it up though, I am going to go over the nutritional facts. So it says right here that this one container is one serving. It's 220 calories. It's 17 grams of fat. It has 10 grams of carb, nine of which are protein, and one is sugar. It has uh, 13 grams of protein, nice. So I'll go over the first few ingredients. Organic whey protein, grass-fed. Organic roasted sunflower seeds. Organic prebiotic fiber from tapioca. It has sea salt, monk fruit, and vanilla extract. Nice. nice, nice, nice. nice. I like the packaging. I like anything kind of earthy colored uh, for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, maybe it's the photography side of me. It does say here, non-GMO, gluten-free, and it's grass-fed whey. I have this website right here, and it says that it's $3. Now, $3 for protein bar, it's kind of high, but I find myself saying the same thing about every product coming out of a keto crate, but I guess I'm just so cheap, I'm comparing everything to how, what I can uh, buy it at, at the commissary or even Costco. Uh, so for example, Costco does sell protein bars that are 10, in a box for $18, so $1.80. But those always give me gas, so we'll see how this one works. You know, I almost wish that the name of the company was BRU, bra, because it's a Hawaii joke, I don't know. They don't get it. All right, so let's get into this. Yeah, nice. Okay, so the texture is similar to the ones that I was talking about on Costco, the protein bars in Costco. It smells sweet. It does have a caramel slash vanilla uh, smell to it. You can see the pecans in there. This texture is thick and it does break apart easily. So let's try this. Mm. Oh. It is sweet, it's good, I know she loves it. <coughs> I do taste the monk fruit. Hmm? Vanilla. Vanilla. She likes it. Lisa doesn't like nuts. She does though, she's just saying that. I do taste the monk fruit. I remember trying monk fruit liquid back in the day. That kind of gave me like a flashback to that. It's not a bad flavor though. It's not overly sweet like uh, caramel tends to be. The pecans add a nice little crunch to it which is something that if you've been on keto long enough, uh, lacks in the keto food industry, it's crunchy stuff. <laughs> I can't even talk about it without them bugging me to eat more. So before they finish it, because the mama hasn't tried it yet, I'm gonna give it a little, one last taste. I do like the texture. It's nice and soft. Mm, I like this one. It's good, really good. Yeah. You don't want it anymore? Was it too sweet? You don't like pecan? Caramel? No. Oh. Mm. Well, that didn't last long. It's really good though. I don't know if it's worth $3, but it's, it's good. Yummy. Mm, yummy. Once in a while, it's not bad. $3. Yummy So there it is. It is sweet. It does taste good. I definitely recommend it. I'm sure they recommend it. So uh, let me know if you guys try it. Thank you for watching this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel. If you did enjoy this video, hit that like button. Don't forget to hit the bell so you get notifications when I upload new videos. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. See you guys in the next one. Bye.